In this video, I'll show you how your on-call engineer can efficiently manage alerts and collaborate with their team members during alert triaging. Before we deep dive into the flow, let's first look at the key personas involved in this process. First, we have Blair, the site admin. She is responsible for connecting the Slack workspace to the JSM site. This is a one-time setup and she can also connect the multiple Slack workspaces to the single JSM site or link one workspace to multiple JSM sites, depending on the organization's needs. Next, we have Claudia, who sets up the integration with Slack. She ensures that any alerts generated by monitoring tool are directed to the correct Slack channel where her team collaborates. Lastly, we have Ivan, the on-call engineer who is responsible for managing all alerts by taking the necessary action and working together with his team to resolve them. Now, let me take you to the JSM site. To start the configuration, the site admin will first navigate to the settings. Within settings, she will go to products and under products, she will go to chat and video tool section. So once she is here, she can connect the Slack workspace from here itself. She'll click on connect. And then after clicking on connect, she will select the right workspace with which uh, she wants to connect this JSM site. So here the workspace is connected and then she will click on allow. Once she clicks on this, uh, you will see that this uh, channel with the, the right workspace gets connected over here. So as you can see, this workspace is connected. So here uh, the site admin's work is completed. Now next is team admin. So for that, she will navigate to her respective team and within team, she will navigate to the operations section. Under operations, she will go to the integrations. And here in this integration section, she will create an integration with the Slack channel and will select the right channel within that Slack workspace where all her alerts should land. So she will select Slack over here, fill in all the necessary details. So here she has filled in all the details she has selected the team because for this uh, team only the integration is getting created and then she will also select the slack channel where she wants all her alerts to land so for that the channel is already configured she will select the same and click on allow as you can see the channel is now selected she will click on continue and then uh, she can turn on the integration so here the integration is created if she wants, she can add more alert filters. For instance, if she wants all the alert rated uh, to P1 priority should only land on that channel, she can add those filters from here itself. She will click on turn on integration and then the integration is created for this particular Slack channel. She can also go to the Slack channel and see if the integration has got created there or not. So for that, she can navigate to this channel, which is alerts channel. And now she can see that this JSM chat ops bot has been added over here. So this completes the integration setup. Now let's see how an alert lands on the Slack channel. For that, let's go to an alert and manually create an alert. Although the alerts are created through the monitoring tool, but for the sake of this demo, I'm creating an alert manually. So here, I have filled in all the necessary details. I have added this team as a responder because for them only this integration has been created. After that, I will click quickly cl click on the create. Once the alert is created, in that case, the on-call engineer can, can go to the channel and see that the alert has started coming over there. So let me take you to this channel. Over here, this was the channel which was configured by their team admin and here the our on call person can see that the alert has come. He can acknowledge, he can close an alert or take multiple other actions from here itself without navigating to the JSON UI. So let me just quickly click on acknowledge and show you the action over here. Once this gets acknowledged, in that case, the notification also comes. And if I navigate to the JSON UI, it, it, that alert gets acknowledged even there. So whether the on call engineer acknowledges the alert on Slack or someone else does it from JSM UI, it will get synced on the both sides. So here also, as you can see, that the alert got acknowledged. Coming back to the Slack UI, these are not just the only actions that they can do. Apart from this, there are some slash commands also that the on-call engineer can leverage. So let me show you the same as well. So there are some 20 plus slash commands that the on-call engineer can use. And using this, they can take certain action on this particular alert. 
So in this manner, the on-call engineer can see all the necessary alerts in this one channel uh, where they can take the quick actions and can also simultaneously collaborate with his team member using the Slack without having any context switching. So this was a quick walkthrough of the complete flow that we have for the alert management in JSM uh, along with Slack.